Well, Austin native Michaela Ulmer is no stranger to KVU viewers. You will recall she started a lemonade stand when she was just four years old. And since then, she's inked a deal with the Shark Tank investor, met former President Barack Obama, signed a deal with Whole Foods, and all of this before she was even old enough to drive. Now, at age 15, she can add author to her resume. Michaela is joining us this morning to talk about this newest venture of hers, her book. Good morning to you, Michaela. Good morning. How are you? Doing all right. We're so glad you could join us. So tell us about this book of yours. Okay, so it's right here. I want to grab it, but it's called Be Fearless, Dream Like a Kid. And it is part memoir, part business guide. So I wrote it as a kind of mix between my story about how I grew me and the bees from being a lemonade sand to an actual national company and then also a business guide. So if there's any kids who are also interested in entrepreneurship or maybe want to do their own standard business, they can have some inspiration and then also some lessons that they can take away from it. And so even though it's for like designed for middle schoolers, I've gotten some really cool reviews from people of all ages who just enjoyed reading the book. Yeah, you know, when you talk about the business guide side of it, you know, your parents uh, were not entrepreneurs when you were four and decided to kind of start making this lemonade. So what were some of the tough lessons you guys had to learn and work through to get to where you are today? Mm, I think one lesson that I learned is how like things that you learn in school, I was able to use my business, which I was really expecting. <laughs> like learning in math, you know, use that to kind of change or English when I'm interacting with customers. Um, another lesson was when we changed the business name from B Suite to Me and the Bees in 2016. So some of you guys may have seen the product on Shark Tank, but it was called B Suite then. And so we had to change the name because there was another company similar to ours, but initially it was really tough realizing, hey, we may have to change the name that I came up with when I was four and had to start over. But we took the name change to our advantage. And that's one lesson that I learned is that when you have challenges, you can Well, we apologize. We seem to obviously be having issues with uh, quite a few of our interviews today. Oh, Michaela, I think we just got you back. Um, so tell us this. You got you got cut off there, um, but the book is out now, and you are having an event tonight to sort of celebrate. Tell us about the event. Yes. Yeah, so it's it's pretty difficult publishing a book in a pandemic because there's no virtual book signings. There's no live interviews. I can't meet with the people who are going to read my book, but we've kind of adapted by doing virtual book signings. And so tonight, this evening, we're having one that's being hosted by book people in Austin. And uh, the moderator is going to be Miss Destiny. So she's like interviewed me in the past and she knows my story. And it's just going to be about topics that are like seen and read in the book and then also like what it's like publishing and how I came up with things and just other Q&A. So that's going to be tonight at six if anybody wants to join and get the book as well. Yeah, and the, you know, it's pretty affordable. You, you just pay five dollars or folks can actually buy a book and still get some sort of signature from you, right? Yes. Yeah, so if you I believe it's if you buy the book from book people, you can get in free because we're trying to have it where you support local bookstores. So if you buy the book, you get in free and there's still a signature. So like there's no additional cost for that. And then also it's sometimes if you have any questions about the book, you can those and I'll answer them. Fantastic. All right, Michaela, we thank you so much for taking some time to chat with us today. And we hope you guys will for sure check out her new book, Be Fearless. And, you know, join her tonight for that book signing.